Hello! So today we are going to be doing Pinterest hacks part 2. The first video did really well um, which I was surprised at and people really enjoyed watching it and I've since making that had so many people ask me to make a second part. Um, so this past week on Twitter and Instagram I had a few video ideas that I suggested and asked which I should do for this week and most people suggested I do Pinterest hacks part 2. So I have five Pinterest hacks that I found on Pinterest that I really want to try out um, to see if they're any good or not. Okay, so this first one is homemade alcohol inks. And apparently for this hack, you need at least 90% rubbing alcohol, and I have 91%, so that should be good. You need some markers. I've just got a cheap set of washable markers here. And you need, they suggested like a little container, but I couldn't find one, so I just got some of these little plastic cups and they should be fine because I don't really plan on, on using them after this. So we'll just see how this goes. I've just realized I have nothing to take the bottom of this grate. Let's start with blue because that's my favorite color. You're supposed to remove the little caps on the bottom. Um, and I did not bring anything with me to do that. Okay, so I've removed the bottom. Now I'm going to try, it should apparently just drop in. <laughs> And it did, okay, brilliant. That was easier than I thought it was gonna be. So, it doesn't really look like there's a specific like amount of rubbing alcohol that you stick in here, but we're gonna try to just stick some in. I suppose the more you put in, obviously, the weaker the pigmentation of the color is going to be. Right, I'm just gonna do that for now. Um, it says, oh, it took some experimenting, but I realized that sliced open cartridges work the quickest. Great. So now we're gonna try red. And the trouble is my hands are gonna get messy. So apparently, if this is so messy, if you cut in the middle and leave the bottom and the top of the cartridge alone, it makes it easier to get out of your ink later. Right, okay. So, I'm currently getting bright red marker ink all over my hands that's probably not gonna come off for days. And this just is not slicing open at all. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Right, as soon as you start looking like you've been to a crime scene, you're gonna wanna stick some ink in there. Not ink, rub rubbing alcohol, just, yeah. So it's working. But it kind of looks like a, a bit weak. Um, so we're going to leave that for a bit and come back to it and see how that does. I'm going to go and attempt to wash this off of my hands. I couldn't wash it off, so that's good. Okay, so this next hack is involving an Altoids mint tin, um, which I do have. Um, and apparently it's supposed to be like a DIY watercolour travel set. So you stick your watercolours in here. I don't want to waste the mints because even though mints don't agree with me, I want to... A lot of people I've noticed are using watercolours in the tube in order to stick that in here, but I don't have that. So I'm just going to... I have like a little watercolour set from Winsor & Newton that I'm just going to use and um, try and stick in here. This is all I've done so far. Um, and I don't have much Sculpey left, so I'm glad that I bought two. Then I else used to make little figurines with Sculpey and clay when they were little because I absolutely love doing that. Our little alcohol ink containers don't look too bad. They might, they might work, I'm not sure, but I've stuck it all in and now I'm gonna put the watercolour rectangles in it to kind of try and mould the shape. So I think this is not a bad idea. Um, if you spend a little bit more time than I am doing this, you could probably get away with making the, like, the holes a little bit bigger. But, you know, it's not too bad. Okay, so what do you think? How do you think it looks? Um, it's somewhat like the picture, but probably not as good. I maybe didn't spend enough time on it, but I think this would work if you made the holes a little bit bigger. Um, 
especially if you want something very compact. This next one, I actually think is a genius idea and I literally can't see how it wouldn't work. For this one, people are saying to use a pool noodle, but I personally thought these like, <sighs> Uh, foam things that go over pipes. It's, you know, like a tea cozy. It's basically like a tea cozy for a pipe. You also need a little container. You can use a box. I've got this little plastic thing. Um, and you're going to want where you, well, you could use scissors, I suppose, but I've also got my box cutter knife. I'm just going to kind of size it. Um, put it here. There. See, it fits on pretty, pretty well. Um, and the whole point of this is to be able to dry your brushes upside down so that you're not getting water into like the uh, little metal bit that's glued and then the glue's going to come apart and the paintbrush is going to break. It also stops your paintbrushes from fraying if you dry them upside down so it's just it's just the best way to dry your paintbrushes in my experience. Okay, so I'm just basically just stabbing the little pipe tea cosy with my scissors. And that should be pretty good it's not the most beautiful brush holder in the entire world, but it's cheap and it will hopefully work. Okay, moment of truth to see if this works. Um, fingers crossed, I think it's gonna work. It's pretty, you know, easy. I've made the slits very small, so I'm thinking it's gonna be better with smaller paint brushes. Genius. I mean, it looks a bit wonky and not that great, but Look how good that looks. It looks like it's going to work really well. And that's the main purpose. So you can pretty much, as I said, use a box, a little plastic container, anything that this will hold on to. And this pipe thing, where's it gone? Paintbrushes are expensive and you don't want to keep buying them all the time. So I recommend this, 10 out of 10. Okay, so it's a little bit later on now. Um, these have been in for a good couple of hours and I just wanted to go back to them and see how they work. I don't have a lot of confidence with how um, like transparent these are, but I'm gonna see and hope for the best. Okay, first I'm gonna try this little red one here to see how it goes. Oh, okay, well, you know what? It's not too bad. Um, thing is, because it is alcohol, it dries very quickly and see now it's very transparent. If I'm brushing the bottom of the cup, I'm getting some pigment and I can do this. But if I get water from the top, it's very transparent. Ooh, I like the blue. It seems okay if I mix it, so I think that was my mistake before. Just mix it or shake it up depending on what it's in, and it does work quite well. It does leak through the back of the pages though. Okay, this next one, um, I personally think don't like the idea, but it's something that someone else might like. Um, it's basically taking a canvas and then nailing some picture hooks into the bottom of it to use as like a key holder. This could be a good idea depending on what you use it for, even, you know, if you've got kids and you want to use it for something, it might be quite a sweet idea. For me personally, I would not do this, but, you know, I'm going to try it anyway. Basically, they suggest having some picture hooks with like, you know, the little hook that you nail into the wall. Then you need a canvas with the wood underneath and then you just nail it in. So, um, I have a hammer. I'm using my right hand for this because I'm left-handed, so if I do break this hand, it's not going to affect my art. I miss. I'm also not, like, knocking it in straight. I can't there we go. So I don't, I don't actually have keys um, with me. They're upstairs and I'm too lazy to go and get them. So I'm gonna use this little key ring I've got. Look, it's baby Chloe and the only friend that she had at that age. So we're just gonna hook it on. And voila! If you had the right kind of thing, like maybe you wanna do like lettering. That might be quite nice, you could have like a little canvas with a bit of like welcome to our home or keys and do that. That's actually not a bad idea. That, five out of five, solid five out of five. If you can make that look decent, good on you. This one is a homemade light box, which you use a plastic drawer for and your phone. So what you wanna do is turn the light onto, can you see that? The light is on, my phone. So you wanna stick your phone under the light box 
which will then apparently illuminate it to the point where you can start tracing your work. So I've got this drawing from last week, this little doodle here. Uh, I'm gonna sort of digitize it and turn it into like a coloring page and then put it on my Patreon. So um, if you wanna keep an eye out for that, I'll put it in the description. But for now, I'm just gonna use it on top of here and see if the light illuminating from this is gonna really do anything. Okay, so this is tracing paper. So regardless of whether the light's on or not, it's gonna kind of show through. But it is somewhat illuminating to the point where you could probably do a decent job. But tracing paper is kind of made for that and sometimes you wanna transfer it via regular paper. So let's try that. Well, there we go. It actually does work. I'm surprised, to be honest. And my drawer's a bit bendy, but this is actually working quite well. So, you know what? If you have one of these plastic drawers and a phone that lights up, 100% recommend doing this because light boxes can be quite expensive um, and they're really, really handy. So, yes. That's not too bad, I'm quite, ha I'm quite happy with that. So there we have it, those are all five hacks and every single one actually worked pretty well. So I'm quite surprised at that. If you ever come across any Pinterest art hacks you want me to try out, definitely leave them in the comments below or on my Twitter, Instagram. You can contact me through any of those means. Do let me know in the comments, by the way, which, which was your favorite hack. But thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I would love to hear your thoughts and comments and what kind of videos would you like to see me do next? I have like two months of videos worth planned out. I have some like silly ones coming up soon. Um, I have some really, really good videos coming up with Adam soon enough. Um, and I just can't wait for you to see them. So thank you so much for watching. Please make sure you hit the like button. I really appreciate your support. Let's try and get this to like 500 likes or something. That'd be great. So thank you so much for watching. Take care of yourselves and I will see you in the next video.